Today, The Sims 4 released its newest stuff pack called Crystal Creations, and it's basically a jewelry making pack. I have not played with this pack at all yet, so this video is gonna be kind of like a first impressions full playthrough of this stuff pack. I literally just got early access to it like an hour ago. I made a sim, I built a house, and now I'm filming this. That's why it's dark outside. I don't normally film videos at nighttime, but I was so excited that I could not wait. By the time you're seeing this, I will have already posted a full review of the pack, so I'll link that down below for you, but this video is the first one that I'm recording. I did a video kind of like this back in December with the rent pack, kind of like a long form full playthrough, and it seemed like a lot of people liked it. So I'm warning you now, this video might be kind of long. I don't really know what the pack entails because I haven't seen it yet, but I just anticipate that we'll be here for a while. So let me start off by showing you the sim that I made today. I named her Ruby Rollins, which I know is like kind of cringe for the gemstone pack, but I felt like I had to take the opportunity. Don't laugh, but she's gonna have a girl friend called Sapphire. I made that sim already too. She's creative, she's materialistic, and she's a geek, and she also has the new aspiration. We have this crystal crafter aspiration. This sim wants to cut gemstones, craft jewelry, and harness the power of crystals. For her first everyday outfit, she's wearing one of the new dresses that comes in the pack, and she also has a little bit of new jewelry. There's not a ton of cast that you can just access by default. Most of the cast is in the game, like locked behind crafting, but we did get these beautiful earrings and this necklace, so I gave them to her for this outfit. She's also wearing this top and skirt combo, and she's got this kind of cute base game outfit as well. This is her formal wear outfit. This is also one of the new things that comes in Crystal Creations. We've got some base game athletic wear, some base game sleepwear. We've got a new outfit for our party wear and a base game one. You can probably tell that I started making this sim with just the base game and then went back in and added the Crystal Creation stuff once we got the pack, but I was a little bit excited, so I started making her in advance. Um, this is her hot weather outfit, and then we also have her cold weather outfit, but I am currently playing with just the base game installed. I really wanted to go through and play the pack first with just the base game to really focus on all of the new things. I will say that I'm slightly unimpressed by Create a Sim. I feel like I was hoping that we would have a little bit more, but there's only a couple of outfits in cast. I haven't seen all of the jewelry that you can make yet, so maybe I'll change my mind once we see that. Oh, that's Sapphire, by the way. Please don't, please don't laugh at me. <laughs> I did also build us a tiny little house. I started off thinking it was gonna be a starter home, and then it kind of became not a starter home, but it still has like starter home energy. I wanted to have this like darker vibe to it, and I was kind of trying to go for like witchy cottage a little bit, just like with the tools that I had in the base game. And so most of the exterior is just base game stuff. We do have this brand new selling table. This is the classically cool sales table. So we should be able to use this to sell our jewelry. It's funny looking at this now because in the trailer, I thought that it was a coffee table. <laughs> but now, now I can see, oh, okay, it's a sales table. That makes more sense. We had a weird angle of just like this much of the table. So I couldn't really tell what it was. And I was, I was just guessing, but I think it's kind of fun to have a new sales table. When you come inside the house, We've got a small kitchen living dining combo. We've got this kind of cute living room right here. I went a little bit overboard with all of the stuff from the new pack. I don't really think it looks that good together, but you know, we tried. <laughs> We've got this beautiful new wallpaper. I used the new rug everywhere. I really do actually like this console table a lot. I'm really impressed by that thing. And this plant is like perfect. I was really impressed by that one. Love all the swatches on this painting too. There's a lot of like pretty cool moon themed swatches and like lunar cycle stuff on this. We've got a simple, just plain base game kitchen with some crystal accents. I've got a dining table right here. Our bedroom is very simple, plain base game stuff. We've got a very simple, plain bathroom. And then this is going to be our crystal room. I'd like to upgrade this as we earn a little bit more money, but I didn't want to cheat too much. First and foremost, we've got these absolutely iconic bookshelves. So there's a new plain bookshelf and also a swatch that has the ladder on it. When I saw this in the trailer, I think my heart stopped. <laughs> getting to use it in game is kind of fun. I will say I'm kind of disappointed by the swatches on these. I don't know how to explain this, but I don't love them but it's okay, we'll make do, we'll make do. I did also put some stuff that we could store our crystals in, and then this item is the most important out of the whole game. Listen to this, this is the all-in-one gemology table by Humphrey Inc. It says, we all have dreams of turning our hobbies into a flourishing business, and Humphrey Inc. knows that all too well. This all-in-one solution offers a precise turntable and a wide workspace with a premium faux leather mat. A design so chic it will perfectly incorporate 
incorporate into any crafter studio. Cut your favorite gems into perfectly imperfect works of art and craft the perfect jewel for every occasion. I'm sorry, did you say Humphrey? <laughs> did you did you say we all have dreams of turning our hobbies into a flourishing business? Humphrey? <laughs> this about made me cry when I saw that a second ago. I was just going through all of the build items and I was like, what? <laughs> So I thought you would all be very excited about that too. The table is named after Stanley. The fact that everybody, when they saw this pack, they were like, oh my God, Stanley's gonna die. He's thriving. Little did we know. <laughs> <laughs> the whole time they made a reference. So that is the full house. That is our sim. Storyline wise, I think my ultimate goal is to make a custom engagement ring for Sapphire. But right now we're just besties. We're, we're very close friends. We grew up together. Sapphire's a writer. We don't have a job, <laughs> but we will soon. And I guess we'll kind of use this crystal crafter aspiration, almost like a tutorial to help us walk through this pack. If we finish it, we're gonna get the attuned reward trait. Attuned sims have great insights into the mysteries of crystals. The jewelry they wear will remain charged for longer and they can absorb energy from charged crystals. Okay. We want to collect five crystals or metals, gift jewelry, or successfully propose with a crafted ring. We want to buy a crystal grid, wear a fully charged jewelry piece, plant a crystal seed, grow a magnificent crystal tree, make five pieces of excellent jewelry, complete crafting gemstones or jewelry 10 times while focused, cut a gemstone valued at 2,500, simoleons, achieve level 10 gemology skill, and summon the Grim Reaper with jet, gemstone, or jewelry. Wow, okay. <laughs> we have a lot of work to do, actually. <laughs> okay, so when you click on this, you can choose to design random jewelry. You can cut gemstones, which has quite a bit of selection. We only have level one, so we can't do too much yet. And you can just buy anything. Ex okay, well, you can buy most things. <laughs> you can't buy the rare ones. <laughs> you can buy most of the regular ones. And if you charge these, Sims will gain creative skills faster your sim is more likely to create masterpieces and they won't experience writer's block. Ooh, make this. We can give it to the girlfriend who's not our girlfriend yet. <laughs> oh, and I put this out here. This is that like gemstone charging thing, the mystical moonlight crystal grid. So you can place the gemstones or jewelry on this between 7 p.m. to 7 a.m. So overnight, and then it will charge them to unlock extra hidden powers. Here's what it looks like when we use this for the Whoa. first time. Oh, please yeah. don't mess up. Don't. No drop that. Oh my goodness. We're like kind of high stakes right now. <laughs> you need to pay attention. I didn't realize how much of the aspiration was going to have an emphasis on like gifting things to people. I wasn't really expecting to have to be nice to others. <laughs> Okay, but Ruby has begun our journey into the gemology skill. We're only level one right now, but it's going up relatively quickly. The other thing is that we're not playing in a tiny house because I'm using just the base game, so we can't even cheat this. <laughs> we don't get any double skill gain or anything. Spire-shaped gemstone, orange topaz. Okay, let me just set that down now. I guess we can leave it there until tonight. Oh, you can put quite a few things on this, I guess. You can slot a bunch to it. So maybe I can walk around and try and find us some collectibles just from like out and about in the environment. We might get a couple couple crystals over here. <laughs> Probably not too many, but we can grab a couple. One of the problems with this pack is that a lot of the newer worlds don't really have that many collectibles out and about in the environment. You'll find a lot more collectibles in the base game worlds, like Willow Creek and Oasis Springs have way more just around the place. They've not been putting like collectible spots down as often recently. I don't really know why, but they just haven't been. Okay, I don't want a time capsule. This is like the last time I want that. <laughs> I'm specifically trying to get gems today. Cool, cool. Two time capsules, no gems. That is just fantastic. I do think that one thing the pack- oh, oh, we got level two gemology. So you actually gain gemology skill just from finding them. I guess that makes sense. And it says on here now, so this shine -a light when crafted and charged, this is more likely to make your sims give birth to twins or triplets? Oh no. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, so you can charge this one to have twins. I may try and come into this secret tree just while we're here. I'm kind of excited to go down there and get some special collectibles, so I might see what we can do. This seems like it's gonna be kind of an expensive hobby as well, so I'm getting a little bit nervous about that. <laughs> it was gonna be like a couple hundred simoleons if we don't have the gems, but it'll be fine. Follow the sound. The mist is warm and friendly as far as mists go. Without warning, Ruby feels the sensation of being spun around and exit to the cave now staring her in the face. Travel to the glade, please. The problem is you kind of have to wait a second for the collectibles to start spawning too, so <laughs> maybe you can just do some fishing in the meantime. I did catch
catch a fish. We gotta pay for the crystal somehow. Well, and now that we've unlocked this, it won't be hard for us to get in here. So we'll be able to come back pretty easily. Maybe we can bring Sapphire in here and propose to her here, like in front of the waterfall. I know I'm getting way ahead of myself. <laughs> we aren't even dating this sim. I haven't even shown you the sim yet, but I'm like, no, trust me on this. Trust me, we're gonna marry her, okay? <laughs> this is the sim, we're gonna date her. So far? No gems. The best we got today was an apple and a large selection of frogs, but that's okay. I think I'll just go back home because we do need to start making food and stuff. We can come back. <laughs> Our collection, it didn't go that well today, but we'll make some rounds. We'll figure it out. Oh, and you know what? I know it's kind of late, but your social is low. Maybe we could go out and we could like try and go to the bar or something because <laughs> there'll be more collectibles there. <laughs> <laughs> let's go. Let's go downtown in Willow Creek. Let's come out here. We'll go to the blue velvet I'll bring sapphire so I can show you her and we'll like talk or something so I can fix my social need while I wait for the stuff to spawn <laughs> Okay, so this is sapphire. This is the sim that I intend for us to date We've been friends for a long time never flirty, but maybe I'll do like a little bold pickup line just to start just to like You know throw it out there. <laughs> um, she's wearing one of the new hairs that comes in the pack I do like this hair I almost wish that it had a swatch that didn't have the clip in it or like if, I, I don't know. It mostly comes from a desire to customize the clips a little bit more. Like if I could pick the colors of them, that would be better. But it is blue, so it kind of matches her vibes. I don't know if you can tell, but I kind of tried to have like the ruby and the sapphire thing. I was, it was intentional. Oh, become best friends. Do that. That's a good idea. Just fill up this bar. That's kind of the whole reason I'm here. Oh, okay, that was easy. It's almost like I cheated their relationship before I started playing. Okay, I'm gonna have her come out and dig up all this stuff though, because there's way more collectibles out here in this area. We're gonna have like every frog. This is turning into a frog video. That was not my intention. We're also gonna be out here way too late. <laughs> I did not mean to be here. Okay, we got a second crystal. This is plum bite. It's rare. And when it's charged, your sim's needs increase slowly over time and sim will make others around them happy. Are you kidding? That reminds me. So in the Sims 3, there used to be these like Sims 3 store items for toddlers. There was like a little, I don't know, play pen that you could put your toddlers in. And if they were in there, their needs, I mean, it goes up the like tiniest, tiniest amount, like so slowly, but their needs would increase slowly as they were in there. So the thought of this gemstone doing that is really exciting to me. We got a metal too. This is platinum. <laughs> I don't know what that charges into. Oh yeah, we're having way better luck out here at this part of town. I'll stay out here all night if I have to. I just want to get the rest of the collectibles while we're here. John Quillist. It's also rare. And when it's charged, your sim's fun need does not decay and your tense moodlets fade faster. Are you joking? This is like so powerful, this tool. <laughs> we got another one of those shine a light ones. We had that earlier. Sheena light? Shine light? I never really thought this much about the, how you pronounce these crystal names, to be honest. This is not quite something that I pay much attention to. All right, we need to go to bed. <laughs> it's way too late. It's like 3 a.m. We gotta go back home. We have a bunch more crystals that we can work with tomorrow. And I think a couple of those were rare, so they're potentially ones that you cannot buy, but I don't really remember. So let me check that. Oh, <gasps> look at the light. That's kind of cool. So if I cut a gemstone, jet, rainbows, and amber. Yeah, so I don't think you can't buy these either. The rare ones, none of the rare ones can be bought. So we got lucky with some of the ones that we found. Slow charging right now due to the new moon. It's got seven hours until it's fully charged. I wonder if it doesn't charge when I'm off the lot. I don't really know how that works. Charge remaining 13 hours? You want a new job already? <laughs> You can't, I just, I just put you in that job. Stay. Okay, hire Sapphire as a caterer. Oh my God. The options this game gives you, I know I only know one person, so that's why it's doing that, but it's like she's nonstop trying to call me. Well, now that I have this charge, I'm kind of curious about turning that into something. So, oh my God, oh my God. <laughs> What? Look at how many options there are. Whoa, okay. So maybe we try and use, let's just do a cheap one. Let's get like the orange topaz. I'll buy a cheap metal as well. And maybe I'll make, I kind of like this basic bracelet. Oh, never mind. No crystal, that's boring. This peach one makes your Sims relationship with family members increase faster and your angry moodlets fade faster. That's so cool. It'll be interesting to see how this ends up playing with like all of the other challenges that people do in the Sims. Like it'll be kind of fun to see how people decide to use this stuff to mix and match. Oh, okay, we've been hurt for the first time. This table is so cool. It really does look good, doesn't it? I'm like really impressed by, it. uh oh. Don't pee your pants, you're almost done. It takes a while to make jewelry. I guess that makes sense. Oh, wow. So that can be sold for 135. How much did that cost me to make? Cause I don't remember. 
<laughs> oh, and when you click on it, you can choose to wear with all outfits or just wear with your current outfit. I guess that makes a lot of sense. Wear with just your current outfit, maybe? Put it on. Oh, that's so cool! Okay, remove that, please. I'm sorry, I don't really want to wear that. I intended to give it away. <laughs> so I can charge it on the crystal grid. Oh, it looks like she'll autonomously place it if you do that. That's kind of helpful. Oh, and you can move the crystal grid easily in game too. Okay, well, I'm not really trying to charge that one. I just want to give it like a basic one to Sapphire and see what happens. Step one here is all about experimenting. So discuss crystal properties. Check in on Sapphire. Oh, having trouble getting a good night's sleep. Amethyst can help. No way. So there, it'll give you like hints. <laughs> they give you tool tips. Okay, let me gift this to her just to see what happens. Please don't be so grumpy. It's ruining my vibes. I think she likes it. And I got my milestone. Oh, she put it on. Oh, that's so cute. <laughs> This is gonna be so fun to gift people jewelry like as rings for engagement rings and then they'll actually wear it. Maybe you should try and flirt with her a little bit more just like while you're here because if we're gonna try and propose to you soon, we're gonna have to get a move on with that. I'll move, I'll move slowly. We have a little crush. How about that? <laughs> but I, I need to work on my own stuff for now. <laughs> I'm kind of curious what the design random jewelry button does. I kind of like that that's there because not everybody really cares to customize so much, but I wonder if that's like a good deal because if you might get like more expensive stuff or if you're wasting money by not custom choosing cheaper things. Okay, and now that we have Gemology 3, it looks like we can design seed-shaped gemstones, and that's how we can plant the gem tree. Oh, 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 we got earrings. Delicate earrings. Oh, those are kind of nice. Punium with simonite. <laughs> and if they're charged on the crystal grid, your sim gains work or school performance faster, and they can complete homework faster. See, that's gonna help so much for, like, the 100 baby challenge. Try and wear those. I want to see what it looks like. Is she here again? Oh, no. It's Liberty Lee. I don't want to deal with that. <laughs> Let me see how these look. Oh, those are nice. Okay, so couple concerns that I had when I first saw this. I was kind of nervous uh, that when we first got the pack, or at least when I first saw the trailer, that the stuff looked quite low quality, <laughs> but it looks a little bit low poly in game because they have to kind of balance that. So the physical item when you craft it is kind of low poly. When they wear it, it's not low poly, or at least not as bad. So if that is something that you are concerned about, hopefully that is like relieving to you. I want to cut a gemstone now. I'd really like to make the seed, seed shaped gemstone. We have two of those. Try and use the one that we already have. So that costs a hundred to cut after using a gem that I already have. So it is an expensive hobby. <laughs> this does not come cheap. It's a good thing I have like five million frogs in my inventory because otherwise I would not be able to afford to do this. I'm literally gonna finish the frog collection. <laughs> Why do I have so many? Okay, she doesn't like it though. <laughs> her fun is suffering from this. It's not her favorite thing. Oh my god. So obviously we know that charging the Shino light makes you have twins and triplets. Let me see about planting this quick. Oh, uh oh, I got move objects on. <laughs> come out here and plant this. It can only be sold for 56. It's normal quality the cut though so I assume that if you have higher skill and like a better mood you can get an excellent quality cut a tree that grows crystals nature truly is a wonder okay well we'll see how fast that grows it's Monday night when we planted it so let's just keep that in mind I do like that it's kind of passive oh this is fully charged already but like it's not that hard to make and then you can kind of leave it be oh it started that's kind of cute <laughs> I'm kind of excited about this okay let me come put on this fully charged jewelry piece I guess I don't really need this it charges for two full days too. We don't even have a job, so <laughs> the last thing I need is a piece of jewelry that <laughs> gives me extra work performance, but whatever. Complete crafting gemstones of jewelry 10 times while focused. Oh my. All right, well, we have the next part of our aspiration. I fortunately have these little rewards. These came, if you bought the Sims 3 packs, you got like a silly goofy light from each Sims 3 pack. So the Sims 3 University has like a focusing decor light. I like to use this when my sims have to be focused. Growth mindset from wearing charged simonite. Look at that. Oh, oh wait, sorry. I forgot to fix your fun need. I'm, that's my bad. <laughs> I'm sorry. I should have paid attention to that. <laughs> that is cool though. So you get the energized plus one plus the actual perks for two full days with that gem. It doesn't take that long to charge it either. <laughs> Can you just keep recharging it? Like when it runs out, do I just charge it again? And then I have forever a special bonus? Cause if so, that's almost too easy. We're level four now. So we can design eye jewelry and cut pairs shaped gemstones at the gemology table. I kind of want to display some of my cut gemstones. <laughs> I'm getting kind of excited. Okay, I had her craft a random thing again. This is basic necklace made of flamingonium. So it's like a pink metal basic necklace. That's really pretty actually. You put that on real fast just so I can see. Oh yeah, look at, I like the shape of that. That's kind of cool. Well, I spent 300 on that and I, it's worth 242. <laughs> so that's not great. 
<laughs> that's not doing fantastic. But you can, if we stock and tend this table, you can like mark stuff up. Let me just turn on 10 table real quick. So mark up prices like, I don't know, 200% and then start a yard sale. This feature works like any of the other ones. It's like the same table as the other pack. So you just have Sims come to you and you try and pitch your sale to them. <laughs> um, it is nice though, because the other tables that are like this, they come from like eco lifestyle, which maybe you don't have a full expansion pack. It's a little bit easier to buy just a stuff pack. You do have to stand here like all day. Oh, oh never mind. <laughs> We got Connie who just bought our necklace for 726 simoleons. Okay, well, that's very promising. <laughs> that is a good sign for the future of rags to riches. I haven't filmed with Stanley yet, obviously, but um, I'm feeling good. <laughs> I've barely started, but I'm feeling good. Look, she's doing my dishes. Oh, come on. She's perfect. You should hold her hands. I know that I probably should like try to have us have a real relationship, but I'm too excited to play with the pack to like do storyline stuff. Maybe I'll go to her house because then we can search around for gems in her neighborhood because she lives in, in Oasis Springs. You know me and my ulterior motives, but I just want to look, okay? I guess we don't really need to find the crystals because we do have enough money to buy them, but I kind of like finding them. Especially we're going to need need the Grim Reaper. We need jet gemstones. So we have to find that. I really don't know much about like, oh, I guess we can just kiss in the front yard. That's fine. I was gonna say, I don't know that much about the crystal collection itself and like where to look. I don't know if there's like specific ones that you can only find in such and such area. I haven't really ever paid attention to that. Oh, we kissed. That's a terrible background of the photo. Like an ugly house in the background. <laughs> it's not very romantic, but that's okay. Woo, -hoo. yeah, just go for it. You know what, whatever. I gotta kill time somehow, cause I'm looking for crystals. This is evil, isn't it? I, I don't know. Two things can be true at once, I guess. Did you stop in the middle of that or did you finish? I think they actually, okay, never mind. I think we're good. First woohoo. I got alabaster. So alabaster, this one makes angry, embarrassed, sad, and scared moodlets fade faster. Oh my God. You can get rid of like all of the bad moodlets faster with that one. <laughs> That's so good. I don't know about you all, but I have Sims die a lot. So it's really helpful. The thought of having like a crystal that can make them be less sad. <laughs> That's very like helpful seeming to me. We got utranium, literal light. That one's rare. Kind of a fun color too. And a fossil rock. I do not need that at all. Okay. Let's Let's go back home. Main focus right now is just to keep crafting so we can make like the five excellent pieces of jewelry and I guess wait for the tree to grow. We can start trying to craft rings. We can make a whole bunch of rings and then decide which one is best so we know what to propose with. We aren't even officially dating yet, but I'm like, we gotta start thinking about the engagement ring. We gotta get ready for this. There really are so many designs. I'm really impressed by how many of them there are. So for rings, Mm, these are not really screaming engagement ring to me, but maybe I'll try this delicate ring. Iron yum. <laughs> I don't think that's what it's supposed to be called. Maybe we use sapphire. Let's make her a sapphire ring. Again, not even dating. She's not even our girlfriend. <laughs> we kissed one time. I guess they woohooed too, but in the story, listen, they've been friends forever in the story. So it's not weird. It's not moving fast. It's been like a long time coming. We just, we cut past that part. We skipped ahead because we wanted to work on this part. I guess the other thing is the skill actually goes up quite quickly. I've only made a handful of pieces of jewelry and we've already got like level four and a half. This is the, the ring that we just made. Put that on. You can sell it for 356. Sims gain mental skill faster from sapphires if they're charged. Oh, if you wanted to, you could like make your Sims matching rings. Oh, that's a lovely ring. Oh, it's just like a basic ring set. It looks like it comes with a pinky ring and the ring on the ring finger, but it's just a basic ring with the gem in the middle. That's great as an engagement ring. And the game thinks that's a piece of excellent jewelry, apparently. <laughs> So they say it is quality excellent. Our tree has grown a tiny bit more as well, it looks like. I'm just gonna go to sleep. Look at how it like glows and shimmers in the night. It seems like this thing is now officially fully charged. <laughs> how long does that charge last? Two days, that's pretty good. I don't know why I didn't say yes to this sooner. I should have put this in cast. Yes, you can like gemology. Now my fun's gonna go up while I do it. <laughs> okay, I had her do a random one again. This is a chunky necklace, simtamium with quartz. You gain double satisfaction points when completing wants or aspirations with this. That's cool. I didn't even consider like half of these perks that it comes with. I never thought about like gaining double satisfaction points. Oh, they weren't kidding. That is a chunky necklace. That's my least favorite of the jewelry pieces so far, I think. I, I think I'll be selling that one. <laughs> I'm gonna put that on the table for now. I've really been liking the random jewelry button because I feel like it's giving me some interesting combos. Uh-oh, what do you want? Oh, what? <laughs> you have a crush on Connie Crenshaw? That's the Sim that bought my bracelet. Do you think it's because she bought my bracelet? No, don't talk to Connie like that. 
Guys, we gotta- No, we have to go try and like win her over with jewelry. Well, I can't give her a ring yet. We're not even dating. <laughs> okay, okay. Tonight, I'm calling up Sapphire. <laughs> Maybe I'll make her another Sapphire thing. I'll make like a Sapphire necklace too. And we'll bring it to her and try and like win her- her favor. This is an eye necklace made gold with citrine. If this one's charged, you randomly find simoleons just doing things around the house. So I guess it probably works kind of like the penny pixies trait that comes with city living. Here's what that one looks like when it's on. That's really cool because you can customize the color of the metal and the color of the gem. And we got level five. So we craft jewelry and gemstones faster. We can design bling jewelry and we can now cut brilliant cut gemstones. So the more you level up, the more types of jewelry you unlock, obviously. Oh, I'm running out of money. I didn't even notice. <laughs> We may have to do some selling. Here, let me clear up some of this stuff. Quick, breed a frog. That was not actually very helpful. I got like 10 simoleons, but that's okay. Delicate necklace, death metal with jade. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> that's pretty too. Oh, I love that necklace. That's really nice. We should we should try and use that one. That one's worth 356. So that one is worth more than I spent to craft it just by default. So that's promising. Even just doing random crafting, you can get lucky. Oh, Sapphire wants to come over. That's fine. <laughs> you can come over. Maybe I'll give her whatever's next. Sorry, I can't really talk to you because I'm like in the middle of something. You can come in here. Well, I asked her to be my girlfriend, so we are officially dating now. Propose to Sapphire? Oh, and look, 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 you can just click on the ring. I don't want to do that yet. I don't think I'm ready. I will gift her this ring though. No, I won't. I'm keeping that. Here, I'll gift her the earrings that I've been wearing. <laughs> you want these? I hope you like them. I don't think they match your bracelet very well, but they, they match your rest of your vibes. Those are cute earrings otherwise. Sorry, I probably should have put more like time and thought into what I gifted you, but I was more concerned about just making you like me. So, okay, let's have the table. <laughs> I'll start a yard sale. Our prices are still marked up 200%. I think that 200% is a decent number. I'm worried about putting it all the way to 300 because what if it takes too long to sell, but maybe I'll do it anyway, just to see. Morty, Morty, you have a lot of money. Come here, buy something from me. We have like a live-in model as well because Sapphire is wearing a bunch of the stuff that we've made. <laughs> We're like, look, you see how beautiful her bracelet is? That could be yours. I need you all to buy this because I need money to be able to make more jewelry. I probably shouldn't have put the sale up so high. Yeah, nobody wants to buy my stuff. <laughs> <laughs> I'll put it back to 200%. I'm sorry. I was going a little bit overboard. That's my bad. Oh, 1,068. Oh my God. <laughs> it's too easy. Okay, nothing else sold. <laughs> that actually didn't go that well. We got a thousand simoleons though. So that pays for my hobby for a while longer. You made another simtanium with sapphire? Oh, we don't need two sapphire rings. <laughs> That's a bit much. Chunky ring critunium with alabaster. And that one also makes your angry, embarrassed, and sad moodlets fade faster. That's a cute ring. One other slight problem is that we need to have a magnificent crystal tree, which means not just growing one, but like evolving it to the point where it's magnificent. So we have to work on our plant skill as well. We have to do some gardening. Sapphire, you can come over, that's fine. You need level three gardening to unlock the ability to evolve stuff. So as long as we can get level three, I may just come harvest all of this stuff and like plant a bunch of it in our yard. We can just spend the day like really trying to plant things and then we can just like delete them afterward, just level up. Oh, oh, we got a lot of stuff. Oh my. Okay, yeah, you can come plant all of that then. I'm just not really interested in having a garden. Like, I came here for gems, not plants, you know? I don't really care about this. You level up pretty quick doing this though, so we should be okay. It's ugly. <laughs> <laughs> it's ugly, but we'll be okay. Oh, I didn't even talk to her. Sapphire came over. I didn't speak to her a single time. I'm sorry. That's my bad. I'm not used to doing all this without seasons as well. So it's kind of weird to not have to worry about any of that, but I guess it's a win. Oh my God, what? In the end, Connie Crenshaw and I were not made for each other. Yeah, I know. I could have told you that. Okay, so now we can fertilize plants. I'm gonna start fertilizing this thing right now. I should have worked on this sooner because then we could have been fertilizing it already. Okay, I don't really want any of these. So I'm just gonna get rid of them real quick. They were there purely as a skill building tactic, I do not intend to care for them. I'm currently researching this tree. I made one of those eye necklaces again. Same thing, it's got the platinum that makes you gain mental skills faster. It's worth 442 by default. How did I miss that? Go away. We're level six gemology. So now we get additional crystals and metals when digging at rocks and we can cut star-shaped gemstones at the gemology table. That's a fun feature, being able to get bonus stuff when you're digging. Oh, look at this lunar goddess necklace. That is so cute. No, you put that on. I wanna see it. <laughs> Wear it with this outfit. Oh, I like that. I'm gonna keep that one for myself. Actually, no, you need to take it off because I wanna charge it. <laughs> That's the one that gets us random simoleons. Raw necklace, pyrite? 
it with simonite. So that's what this necklace looks like up close. And if you wanted to, you could like leave these things on display inside of your cabinets. Obviously the rings are quite small, but you could put them up if you'd like to. That's just a basic bracelet. So I think it's just like plain metal. We're kind of losing money on a couple of those basic ones. Need video games. Are you joking? So <laughs> she's tense because she hasn't played video games and she's a geek. I don't even know what to tell you. I was trying to get like the crafting while focused thing and I was this close to getting another one and then she got upset because she needs video games. Have you considered that perhaps you are video games? <laughs> like, is this not enough for you? Oh, I should save. Uh oh, it's been a while I haven't saved yet. <laughs> Let me do that real quick. All right, it's Friday night. I'm thinking that tonight I want to do the proposal. That's my plan. So we'll hang out with Sapphire later. Oh my God, she's here now. I'm I'm preparing you a gift. <laughs> I don't want to talk to you right now. Oh, this one's death metal with emerald. And with emeralds, your career and school chance cards are more likely to succeed. That's so interesting. I've never even thought about that. So here's a delicate bracelet. This is what this one looks like. That's kind of pretty too. I like that. Can you put that on so I can see it? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> She's got long sleeves. <laughs> Whatever. You know what? I don't mind. It's fine. <laughs> It's fine. You can see your sleeves in this one. Try on this. So that's what that bracelet looks like in game. That's pretty. All right, I'm thinking my plan is to make one more piece of jewelry and then we'll go propose. I just want to do a little bit more and see a little bit more. We're level seven now. So we do it even faster. We can design botanical jewelry and we can cut skull shaped gemstones <laughs> at the gemology table. Oh, Elena Crow and you want to spend some friend time together. That's fine. You can have friends. You just can't date somebody else when we are actively dating together. Socialite, look at this. Sim gets over breakups faster and your social need does not decay. What? <laughs> That's so cool. We could have used that in the beginning of the video. <laughs> I was struggling in the beginning. All right, let's go out. It's Friday night. I don't really know where to go because we're playing with just the base game. Oh, oh, what am I saying? I know where to go. The plan was literally always for us to go here together. Let me travel to Sylvan Glade and then we'll just invite her out with us. I I love the idea of getting engaged in front of the waterfall with the rainbow. Can you put on one of the new outfits though? Because if we're gonna get screenshots, we wanna have like the new stuff to show off. And then bring Sapphire with you. Okay, she's here. Look, propose with crafted ring. That's so easy. Okay, hold hands, but then can you come down here? Oh, yes, you can like fitness. Let's come chat down this way. I used to have my Sims get engaged down here a lot, but it's been a long time since I've been out here. So I want to propose with crafted ring. Oh no, 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 no. What are you doing? Oh, I stood up too fast. Wait, don't use the wrong ring. Okay, sorry. Oh, that scared me. Don't speed up. <laughs> I wanted the sapphire delicate ring, please. Ruby is proposing to sapphire. Look at this, look at this, look at this. Oh, oh my god, she's even holding the right ring. Oh wow, she even used it. Let me turn off headline effects so I can get a better screenshot. I mean, I shouldn't act surprised. Like, I, you would expect them to use it, but I guess given The Sims 4, I don't know, I would have had worse expectations. <laughs> If it was just like a regular ring, I wouldn't have been surprised. Oh, now she has two rings on, so that's no good. Are you wearing it though? Oh, and she's not. She's wearing the other ring. I wonder if that's because the ring she had before overrides it, or if it's because, oh, we're deeply in love. <laughs> that's so cute. Sorry, I don't know, that's interesting though. I, I should have taken that ring off of her before I proposed to her, but I forgot she was wearing it. Well, congrats on your engagement, I guess. I don't really know where to go from here. We do have this shimmering riches, so we can find simoleons in places, but obviously we're also feeling flirty because of the engagement. Oh, we're hot and heavy. Okay, let's take a photo. Oh, not of her. I want to take a photo with her. You face the wrong way. I wanted the waterfall. What makes you think I want this? <laughs> I want the waterfall. Maybe I'll have her move in with me. You know what? Join my household. We're engaged. Let's live together. I'll take your money too. Oh, that was more money than I thought I was gonna get. Hold on. <laughs> Go back to like 6,000. <laughs> I don't want your whole house furnishings, that's too much. But if we live together and we have a little bit of extra money, I can show you this Sim and Cass and show you her other outfits. And we can also have some help with like, I don't know, gardening and stuff. Well, let me pop into Cass and I'll show you. And then we can also see how the jewelry works in Cass now that we've unlocked some of it. So this is Sapphire. She's wearing a lot of base game stuff for the most part, obviously, because I made her before we had the packs, but uh, she's got the new hairstyle on her and she's wearing the earrings that we gifted her. So we can see those earrings in game. These are the ones that just come in cast regularly. These are the ones that we made. We can also see that bracelet in cast now. So you can easily add and remove it because it's available in cast once you've unlocked it. Oh, and it's the other hand. She's wearing the ring, the sapphire rings, but on the other hand. 
That makes sense. So we can see those now. I like how it's a ring set. It's two rings, not just one. That's kind of cool. If I show you her nails, we can get a closer up look. Yeah, that's pretty. I like that she has that. I don't love the bracelet though. I don't think it matches her vibe that well. Well, her other outfits, she's got this sort of pretty sapphire blue dress. <laughs> We've got this athletic wear. This is her sleepwear. Uh, her party wear is the same dress that Ruby is wearing, but there's not that many dresses in this cast pack. So I did what I could. Here's her uh, swimwear. We got hot weather and we got cold weather. I was really like trying to scrounge stuff up. This top is actually the one of the masculine tops from this pack. I paired it with the skirt. I kind of liked that it was a cardigan, so I thought it was cute, but there's really not that many options, just generally in cast. But anyway, there's our sim. <laughs> so now she's here too. I don't really, um, how do I say this? Maybe she can be in charge of running our, our store. <laughs> <laughs> she can be in charge of running the shop and then we'll just keep making jewelry. That's not a bad idea, to be honest. Happy engagement, come tend my table. <laughs> I wonder if you're tending the table, if Sims will just come and use it or if there's like a lot of effort that has to be put into it yourself. I have had luck before with previous yard sales of them, yeah, just buying things like that where I didn't have to do anything. So that's kind of lucky. Oh, they bought it again. <laughs> oh, never mind. Maybe it's better to not talk to them. Maybe me talking to them was making it worse or maybe Sapphire is just better at this. There's always that too. <laughs> Bored moodlets disappear when you've got this one. Interesting. I guess I should clarify it. The moodlets don't disappear. They just disappear faster with that stuff. Oh my God, the two person household for this is too easy. <laughs> that makes this so good. Can you sell that bracelet we don't like? We sell the first bracelet that our fiance ever gave us. <laughs> it was given to us as a gift and we're about to sell it, but I don't like it. So that makes it fine, right? Oh, those are some beautiful. Oh my gosh, look at those earrings. Oh, we should get Sapphire to wear those. Wear with all your outfits. I'd love to see them. Oh my goodness, those are perfect for her. And the game just randomly made them as well. I didn't even pick that. <laughs> That's great. So those make you gain mental skills faster if they're charged. I think we sold everything. That was almost too easy. We had 10,000 simoleons already. This was not meant to be the rags to riches video. <laughs> so there's a new kind of floral looking bracelet we've got right there. So the new big thing is that we can cut these gemstones and I haven't really done any of this yet. I'm kind of curious to maybe cut like our rare plum bite into a skull and just see what that ends up being worth. It looks like it's gonna take a long time to cut this gemstone. Oh, never mind. <laughs> It jumped up a lot. I've been so focused on jewelry that I haven't even tried that yet. I cut like one thing. Oh my God. Look at that skull. That's worth 810 as well. And that's just normal quality. This is the one that makes your Sims needs increase slowly over time. Oh my God, you charge that. We'll leave that for tomorrow. <laughs> we just got level eight. So we can design Edwardian Gothic jewelry and cut heart-shaped gemstones. This gem that I just cut is worth 1,056. This one makes your fun need not decay and it makes your tense moodlets fade faster. Oh my God. <laughs> Who, there's a child at my house. Who are you? Jonathan Landgrab, oh dear. <laughs> okay, this heart-shaped one's only normal quality, boo. Look at that cool botanical necklace it's called. That's fun. This one makes it so your Sims don't have uncomfortable romantic interactions and they will not have awkward woohoo encounters. I've decided I might buy myself a focused potion because I want to finish this complete focus thingies and I'm too flirty and I'm too energized all the time. I just want to get a bunch of focus moodlet and just like knock this out. We are very focused. <laughs> focus moodlet 100. <laughs> this is a mystic necklace. You'll randomly find crystals by doing things around the house. What? That's so good. Charge that too. Honestly, considering it says that I'll randomly find money from the necklace that I do have, it's drained now, but I didn't, I didn't get any money <laughs> like the whole time. So I don't really understand what's up with that, but whatever. This one makes your Sims more successful with romantic socials and has you complete dates more successfully. Okay, we finished crafting 10 gemstones or jewelry while focused. This is a bling necklace, which is kind of fancy. Some of these are worth a lot of money, which I guess makes sense. Like you would probably expect it to be, but I'm still impressed. All right, we finished fully charging this skull shaped gemstone. I'm putting that in my inventory. It's gonna last two days. Our our needs should increase slowly over time and our sim will make others around them happy. So it says. I don't really know what the needs increase slowly over time. Like how slowly are we talking, you know? I don't really know what to look for from that. Hey Sapphire, I think Connie Crenshaw is pretty cute. Should I ask her out? Yes, actually go for it. That Connie Crenshaw is the one who tried to ruin my relationship. <laughs> So if somebody else wants to date her, that's fine. Maybe I'm being silly, but like, I don't understand how this works. Crystal charging. So gemstones spread their power to everyone close by. So does it matter if it's in my inventory or is it best for me to put it out? 
Oh, maybe it's best for it to be out. Oh yeah. Oh, oh my God. Look at how fast it's going up. Are you kidding? Okay, so it doesn't work in your inventory, but when you just have this out, it makes all of my needs are going up. But we can just stay here and craft gems all day. Whoa, that seems like way overpowered to me. I gotta be honest. I'm amazed by that, but like <laughs> that's gonna last for two days, two full days. <laughs> All right, Dina Caliente wants to come over. That's fine. She wants my jewelry. She heard we had good stuff. Well, we've got level nine now. So we get even more extra crystals and metals when digging at rocks. We can design starry sailor jewelry and we can cut plum bob shaped gemstones at the table. So all of this, our tree still has not grown. <laughs> After all this time, I don't need to do anything. All I have to do is stand here because my needs are fine. Oh, these are kind of nice. These earrings with the little moons in them. Oh, I love that. That's one of the most fun parts about this, I think, is just like seeing all of the new jewelry. Well, I'm gonna put this in here because our fun need won't decay. I guess it won't anyway, but... And maybe I'll have Sapphire wear that new charged one to find crystals around the house because that would be fantastic if you could just get a bunch of extra crystals that way. I've yet to actually see how this works because we haven't found any of them. And she's not in the right room, so her needs do decay. Because I guess she's not standing in front of the magic thing all day like we are, which fair enough. I'm gonna cut a ruby next. I think she deserves it after all she's done. Oh, thanks to the charged jade, Sapphire's found a crystal. Oh, we literally got jade. Okay. Well, yeah, I guess that makes sense. So do you just get random pop-ups whenever you... Oh, her things are going up. Oh, maybe it's based on proximity to the thingy. Yeah, we have like a million bajillion pieces of jewelry. We got another crystal. She found a peach. Well, I want to sell like pretty much all of these things. You can come stock the table and then you can tend the table and then you can start a yard sale because <laughs> I need some more money again. <laughs> Here's the new ruby. That makes it so we don't have awkward woohoo. That sells for 1237. Oh my god. Oh, and I can fertilize this thing again. Oh, and it needs weeded. Take care of that first, actually. <laughs> that feels important to me. Oh, I can evolve it for the first time. So now it's nice quality. We got a ways to go. 1701. I didn't even do anything. She didn't even talk to them. And they're just buying our stuff. I'm kind of starting to try to prepare to get ahead. We've almost got level 10. We don't have any jet gemstones, so we can't use that yet. The cutting the gemstone I don't think will be too hard. Honestly, the main issue right now is just it's getting the crystal tree, but it hasn't even grown yet. Connie Crenshaw is a sweetheart. I'm in love. Okay, good for you. Oh, we have to pay bills for the first time. Huh, that's unpleasant. <laughs> This one? If charged on the crystal grid, Sim is less likely to develop relationship fears. They have less romantic relationship decay and they will always succeed at apologizing in bed. Oh my God. And this thing is still charged. So we've been going for like two days straight. I haven't slept. This is an Edwardian Gothic ring that we've got. Kind of pretty, but we don't have to sleep. We don't have to do anything. <laughs> this thing is too powerful. We have magically mastered the gemology skill. So we can now craft jewelry and gemstones at record break speeds, we can design plum bob jewelry, and we can cut gnome-shaped gemstones. I'd like to see that gnome-shaped gemstone that you speak of. <laughs> maybe I'll get myself a ruby gnome. And in the meantime, I'm kind of curious about maybe buying a desk and a computer. There is a desk from this pack and a desk chair from this pack, believe it or not. It's like a swivel wooden chair but we can get a nice computer. Oh my God. Wow, that is really quite something. <laughs> this gnome, I kind of like it. Let's put it outside. We found three metals when I dug that up one time. Ah, you know what? Now that we have the high gemology skill, I don't think it'll be too hard for us to get the gems that we need because you get multiple all at once. Let me go out maybe and I'll start digging around in the park. I think I might go to Oasis Springs and look around a little bit. I don't need much. Literally all I need is the jet. That's all I want. And everything is giving me metals. Oh, here's a crystal. I don't really care about metals. I care about crystals. Rainbows, plumbite, shine a light. That's okay, that's nice, but it's not really what I wanted. <laughs> this rainbows one makes you less likely to develop fear. What are you doing on the floor? I could use that in real life. I need to get some of that. Oh, one jet. Oh, that was easy. Okay, so this one, when charged, can summon the Grim Reaper at will. That's all we needed. I just gotta get this crystal tree grown and magnificent, which is probably gonna take me a few days in game. It's kind of funny because I feel like for years I've been complaining that I wish the aspirations were harder, but now I'm used to the aspirations being easy. So this one, I'm like, wow, <laughs> this is actually a lot of work. This is going to take a while. All the thing says about the tree is that the more you take care of it, the rarer crystals it will produce, which is great. Like, I'm glad to hear it. That makes sense, but I haven't even gotten the thing to grow yet. <laughs> oh, never mind. It grew. <laughs> 
<laughs> that was like a jump scare. I was gonna have him sleep a little bit so I could see like if we could get it to grow faster. It took basically almost exactly a full week in game. For the, for the crystal tree to grow. It's kind of scary looking. I feel a bit weird about it, but like maybe in a fun way? <laughs> I don't know. Well, keep sleeping actually, because I want to wait until it actually gives me crystals that I can harvest. Maybe once a day? Maybe I'll cut the jet into a fancy gemstone then, and we can see if we can use that to summon Grimm in a minute. I'll wait until it's time for the aspiration but I'm getting ready. <laughs> I'm getting kind of excited, so. I gotta be honest, I'm considering just cheating to make the plant magnificent, because I feel like I've already been through enough. Whoa. Whoa. Excellent quality plumb bob shaped gemstone. Worth 1856. Sim can summon the Grim Reaper at will and Sim will always succeed when pleading for someone's life when it's charged. That is fascinating. <laughs> I'm really, really intrigued by that. Let me show you. So I might click on this. I'm gonna set gardening state. I'm gonna make it ready to evolve. I might evolve this a couple times. Oh, oh my gosh, it's magnificent quality. <laughs> Would you look at that? Ruby's hard work has paid off and her crystal tree has increased to magnificent quality, sure. It now wants me to cut a gemstone valued at 2,500. So we have to cut a rare crystal while in a focused mood that contributes to gemstone value and then summon the Grim Reaper. So I guess we have this rare plum bite. Should we try that and make it into a gnome? That seems like it'd be expensive. We haven't had a single thing be worth that much yet. I think the highest was like 1900, not quite 2500. I've sold things for a lot of money, but only on the table where they get the markup. I haven't just crafted one that costs that much by default. Oh, never mind. <laughs> we got it. Okay, well, this one is ready. <laughs> <laughs> False alarm. This one, in fact, is worth 2531. Oh, that's pretty close. Okay, well, now I feel like a dirty cheater. I, I'm almost done now. <laughs> The last thing we have to do is get the Grim Reaper to come. So we have to charge this thing overnight and then we can summon him. They're currently charging. They've got five hours until being fully charged. So maybe I'll have us just go to sleep because I'm really curious about the summoning. I want to know how it works. We still haven't been able to harvest from this tree yet either. Look at how it looks at nighttime. It like glows. It's kind of cool. Okay, these things are both charged again, by the way. Our skull-shaped gemstone that makes our needs go up, it's recharged fully, miraculously. And the Plum Bob one is also fully charged for the morning. Oh, it's ready to be harvested from. Oh my gosh. Oh, it even has extra jet in there. Let me see what all you get from this thing when you harvest it for the first time. Oh, ew, it looks dead. Okay, it looks like we got two of these jonquilists. We got some more jet again, amethyst, couple peach. I already had some of these things, but we got some extra and I can water it now. So I feel like it probably needs like a full 24 hours until it can be harvested from each time. And it takes a full week to grow. And then obviously the more you evolve it, the rarer the gems it gives you, but it gives you quite a few all at once. So if you're trying to make jewelry and like use the stuff that you have, that's a great tool. Let's see how this Grim Reaper thing works. It's worth 2300 now as well. You can literally just click on it and summon him. I'm kind of scared of that. Here's how it happens. Oh, <laughs> aspiration achieved. Grim? 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 Oh, Grim! Oh, buddy! <laughs> <laughs> so we got that attuned trait. So now the crafted jewelry we have remains charged for longer and we can absorb energy from charged gemstones and jewelry, like physically energy. So we don't have to sleep. Are you kidding? Oh. The stuff in this pack is so powerful. You can do so much with it. I am like actually amazed by that. Let me show Grim my jewelry. I think he'll like it. Okay, well, it took me like a week and a half in game to get all of this finished with some cheating. It should have taken longer to get the magnificent quality tree, but I was too impatient. I didn't want to wait. I wanted to see Grim. <laughs> but it takes longer when you have to actually evolve stuff. If you have other packs, obviously I did it with just the base game, but if you've got things like tiny living, you grow your trees twice as fast in a micro home, um, you can get lot traits that make your plants grow better quality. Um, you could also try and give your sims some reward traits that might help you. Things like super green thumb makes your plants have amazing vitality, might make your life a little bit easier. So obviously having other packs will give you some other perks that will aid you. Just like it seems like this will aid you so much. <laughs> when you use this combined with other stuff, you're gonna, it's like kind of OP because you get so many perks. I mean, I'm really, really surprised at how good some of the charged crystals can be. I knew they were gonna have perks. I don't think I realized just how useful the perks would be. I think I was picturing stuff like, you know, the, oh, maybe your woohoo will always succeed. Like that, those ones that were a little bit smaller. The big ones, they're really good. 
<laughs> I've had a lot of fun testing this out. I think the last thing I want to do really quickly is just go into cast. I'm kind of curious to see what happens when I type a cheat to see all of the jewelry. So for this, I think it should be cast.unlock by tag sp49 is what this one is called technically. So that should unlock the tagged parts. And then if we go into cast, I should be able to see all the jewelry. Obviously normally you just unlock it as you used it, but this should give me no. <laughs> okay, cast.unlock by tag SP49. Crystal creations. Okay, so I don't know how to cheat to unlock that stuff in cast. I mean, you can see the stuff that we've made and like physically put on, but I can't see the rest of it. I don't know about this. I'm gonna have to experiment some more with this before I make my my review before I get my final thoughts. I've definitely had fun. I just hate when stuff is like locked and you can't access it. I feel like it makes the game less fun to play when things are hidden and you can't get them easily and I don't understand why the cheat doesn't work. Well, just to give you an example of what I'm talking about, there's a cheat for Eco Lifestyle. It's EP09. That should unlock all of the Eco Lifestyle stuff. At least it should. Oh wait, I don't have it. I don't have Eco Lifestyle installed. I'm playing with just the base game. Never mind. I don't know why the cheat's not working. I could be typing it wrong. This is the trouble with early access because I don't, there's no one to ask. There's no guides. I'm just kind of like seeing it myself for the first time. But final thoughts after having played with it. I think I really liked the gameplay of this more than I thought I would. I also think that I'm probably going to use it more often than I thought I would specifically like for gifting jewelry to people. I think that's so cool. Like making rings and making jewelry for people. I'm going to do that a lot. I really love the idea of making an engagement ring or like making a necklace. It's kind of fun to have jewelry as like heirlooms too in your legacy challenges because I do that a lot in my sim saves. So I quite like the idea of like making a necklace in gen one and then like having that and passing it down between the future heirs. I just think that's going to be kind of a fun feature. Like I mentioned, I'm going to make a full review kind of walking through everything that comes in the pack and all of my thoughts and whether or not I think it's worth buying. And I'll post that yesterday for you. <laughs> for me, I'm going to post that tomorrow in real life, but the timings, I'm recording these out of order, obviously, but I will link that review for you if you want to go back and see my full thoughts on that and make sure you're subscribed to my YouTube channel because I'm going to post a ton of content with this pack. I'm planning on doing some builds this week too. And I'm curious to see in the comments, how many of you are planning on buying this one? Do you like this? Do you like it more or less than the recent stuff packs? Like how does it kind of fall for you now that you've seen some more from it? I'm still not sure. I think I need to play with it a little bit more before I finally decide, but I feel weird saying that because when you see this, I'll have made a full review. But anyway, thank you for watching. Have a wonderful rest of your day. Sorry about the lighting. I filmed this. It's like 10 p.m. right now when I'm recording this and I never film at nighttime, so I feel a bit strange, but I'm gonna go eat dinner, so I will catch you all tomorrow. Okay, bye everybody. I'm serious. When I saw the table named after Stanley Humphrey, I nearly started crying. That has just completely made my life. I feel like he's been immortalized. He's gonna be so excited. <laughs> I can't wait to film the Rags to Riches video.